Hey, what is going on guys? Lando Lit here. Okay, so this video, uh, as you can see by the title, it's crazy. So basically with the flag football, one of the coaches of the team... One of the coaches of the teams, Dave Paradise, an NFL Hall of Famer goes to his church. Kind of insane. Uh, his name is Paul Krause, former Vikings player. He played for the Vikings. He played for the Redskins for four years, for his first four years, and for the rest of his career, he played for the Minnesota Vikings. He's the all-time leader in interceptions. He has 81 in his career. In his rookie season, he got 12 interceptions in the first, in, uh, in his rookie season. Uh, he's an eight-time Pro Bowler, and he got inducted to the Hall of Fame in 1998. I did my research, I did my research, uh, and uh, he came to Dave Paradise's house. He came to their house and we got to uh, ask questions and like get autographs and stuff. And I thought that was crazy. And then at the end of the flag football season, they had an after party at his house, at the Paul Krause house. It wasn't really his house. It was kind of like a little like, it was like a man cave, like garage area thing. I don't really know, but uh, it was crazy. So this is uh, all the footage I got. But yeah, this is the Paul Krause house vlog. No, just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, I met a Hall of Famer. Roll the clips. See ya. Hope you enjoy. This is a crazy event for me, honestly. See ya. Oh my days. Lately. <laughs> What's the blue background? That thing is beautiful. What is that, Paul? Is that lapis? No? I don't know. <laughs> it's not like it's fun, so. I got four Super Bowl rings also. Oh my gosh. Huh. And I got a cup another Hall of Fame ring. And I mean it's I got probably two hundred thousand dollars. A bling? Yeah. Do you wear that one on a regular basis? No. Do you wear any of them on a regular basis? They're, they're not very comfortable, I would imagine, to wear around. I just wanted to okay. show the kids. Can we get a picture? What's that? I don't know how they got my info, but... Nice. Thank you. Good to meet you. Please back us and meet people. Good firm handshake, right? How are you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> nice, dude. Perfect. Do you see the ring? Hall of Fame ring? Cool. Look at this. What is Master's signature now? How old are you? Uh, 15. Huh? 15. How tall are you? <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. Guys, I'm going to go get a truck in. Guys, guys. Sam. 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 Paul, can't thank you enough for being here. I'm just going to turn it over to you and say uh, you've got 5th through 11th grade, and uh, um, it's all yours. I really appreciate this time. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. I don't know what I'm going to tell you yet, but, uh, uh, you know, we can, we can talk about things that you want to know. You know, I'll, you, know you, can end, you can ask a lot of questions, and... And that's the way you're going to find out what you want to know. I could sit up here all night and say, well, you know, we did this, we did that. And, but times have changed, you know. I was lucky. I, ne I have never been cut on from a football injury. Well, my knees, my hips and everything, uh, I think God bless me because uh, I never, never got hurt. Well, I got knocked out. <laughs> you know, I got knocked out. I broke. I broken my neck. I, I missed two games in 16 years. Uh, they go like that, <laughs> <laughs> and just rip their head off. You know? I mean, I mean, we back when I played, that was legal. They go like that. <laughs> the team that le makes the least mistakes is going to win, and the Vikings proved that last week. <laughs> uh -huh. Paul, a quick question. So the, yeah. the thing I, I talk about in every team I coach, teamwork, sportsmanship, and, and effort. You know, the giving 100%, the teamwork, and the sportsmanship. When you find yourself frustrated because of something that you failed to do, you were out of position, you got beat, or when a teammate gets beat, how, do you, how have you dealt with that in your career? Well, everybody gets beat. I don't care who you are. I just can't remember. 
<laughs> I was I was with the Washington Redskins for the, my first four years, and in in four years I had 28 interceptions, which is pretty good. I got traded to the Vikings, and Bud Grant said to me when I got to the Vikings, he says, "Paul, I have never played defensive back." He says, "Do me one favor, don't get beat deep." Do you know what that means? Yes. Don't give up a big play. Yeah. A big touchdown play. I played here 12 years. Uh, we went to four Super Bowls. Uh, we won a lot of games, and we had a lot of uh, Hall of Famers. You know, if a teammate gets beat deep, you got to forget that play. Just forget it and make sure you're talking with one another so you don't make mental mistakes. Is it, is it that much different? Uh, it is because of the, the hype all around you, but it's still a game. Guys were crying and you know all of that. Uh, that's not me. I have a God-given ability or I have. <laughs> I had a God-given ability to play anything I wanted to play. It wasn't, it wasn't me playing. It was the ability that God gave me. Uh, now I said football's not easy, but I'm going to refrain a little bit from that. When I went back, I played, football was easy. <laughs> God gave me the ability to see everything in front of me and the ability to gauge how fast I have to run to catch a guy going down the sidelines and to see that ball up in the air and gauge where that ball's gonna come down and, and at a split second, I either have to jump for it or knock it down or let him catch it. And all those things are happening within seconds. I was going to be a baseball player bef before I was a football player. I was an All-American baseball player in Iowa when I was a sophomore. Then I destroyed my shoulder. And all of a sudden, I had the ability to play football. <laughs> I mean, who could think? And, and the first game, I intercepted a pass. Uh, the second game I intercepted a pass. I had 12 interceptions my rookie year. And, and it just kept going from there. Anybody else have a question? And when, after the Redskins, like any time you became a free agent, if you became a free well, agent. Well, back then there was no free agency. You played for what team drafted you. And if they wanted to get rid of you, they traded you. Have I had an interception? Bart Star. And what? Bart Star. For Bart Star? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story. Yeah. I'll tell you a story. Uh, you know who Vince Lombardi is? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. You know who Donnie Anderson is? Yeah. He played for the Green Bay Packers, and he's one of my best friends. And uh, Bart Star was told. Uh, not to throw into me, their coach, Lombardi. Is this mine? Yes, yeah, yours. Okay. Uh, so Lombardi told Bart not to throw in my area. We're beating them, and uh, it was over in Packerland. Uh, all of a sudden, Bart threw into me. I intercepted it and went for a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie said. Uh, Lombardi was running down the field saying, I told you not to throw into him. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, it's, it's, uh, if you, since you had 81 interceptions in your time at the NFL, it'd be a miracle if I played even 81 snaps in the NFL. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> you know? Hmm? Yes. Um, oh, sorry. I forgot. The phone call. Um, you get invited. What was that process like? Well, getting into the Hall of Fame uh, is the best thing out of sports you can do. When, once you're in the Hall of Fame, they can't cut you. 
<laughs> they can't trade you. Do the Vikings have your number retired? No, nope, they're not really smart. <laughs> um, it, you mentioned getting to the Hall of Fame. Is, isn't that kind of the ultimate validation for an athlete, whatever their sport? Oh, absolutely. I mean, once you get to the Hall of Fame, there's no higher. It's over. You've won the big, the big medal, you know, because nobody can take it away from you. You're in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. How old were you when you retired? How old was I when I retired? Oh my goodness. Oh, I played that third, I was 37. Who was your favorite quarterback you played with? Oh, Fran Tarkington. I mean, Fran Tarkington was a great quarterback. What made him a great quarterback? Smart. He knew his own ability. You know, he was throwing 15 to 20 to 30 yards, but he was smart. Really smart football player. What do you think was the best game you played in? Oh. All of them. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What were you doing when you were the age of these guys? Playing. Uh, I played basketball, football, track, and baseball. Got a scholarship. I had 71 offers way back then to go to different colleges. Iowa was the number one uh, football school in the nation at that time. They just won two, two uh, Rose Bowls. In my sophomore year, we were rated number one in the country for uh, the first six games. Okay, so that's it for him coming to Paradise's house, but now for us going to his house. Yo, what is up, you guys? This is going to be insane. We are headed to Paul Krause's house. Paul Krause. Okay, if you don't know who Paul Krause is, he's a former NFL, former v Vikings player. He has the most all-time interceptions of all of all time. We're headed here with Paul. <laughs> he came to Dave Paradise's house, and we got to meet him, and like he signed my shirt. Oh yeah, we're headed to his house, and he goes to so Sam Paradise. Carson's friend. Paul Cross goes to his church. <sighs> church friend. Well, Carson's whole team is gonna be there. Carson unfortunately could not come. He had to work. But Vinny and Steve will be there. Right now we're literally just driving along the uh, uh, fields. I have no clue. I'm pretty sure it's um like a massive house, like a mansion. But we'll see. We'll have to see. He uh Paul Cross is a Hall of Famer. He has a Hall of Fame ring. Why don't you put up put up his stats? Insert the stats. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick some stats and some clips uh, from Paul Krause when he used to play. It was in frigid Minnesota where Krause, number 22, found his true calling. Instead of headhunting, Paul used his words to confuse the long bar. Okay, we just uh, left the main road. There's people well, trailing us. They're probably headed to the same event, I would assume. We're just, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. He likes to be isolated, apparently. He said uh, he said he lives like 50 yards away from another former Viking. I, I don't know his name. Who was it? Uh, <laughs> we're pulling up. Paul Krause's mansion, no, wait. What? What? <laughs> Gotta be excited. This is dad's first time. Dad was unfortunately out of town when we first met him. Watch for children. Got a little old fashioned town, maybe? It's actually insane. This, this motorcycle has 35 hall, autographs of Hall of Famers. We're gonna hear your names, Paul. Vinny, what do you think about 
this place so far. We got a ton of trinkets. Jared, what do you think? It's pretty cool. Unless it's a pop or something. What's up? Dude, we were just talking about you missed it. What? I videoed him. What are, so what are all these? These are his... All his buddies, man. They played with him. Yeah, that was a crazy, crazy, crazy thing. Thank you to Dave and thank you to Paul for uh, putting this together. It was something I'll never forget. No, it was crazy. Uh, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Dog really took a shit. <laughs> hit that like button down below and subscribe for awesome content. Please subscribe. Please, please subscribe. Uh, spread the word about the channel. Tell your friends. Uh, subscribe. Did I say subscribe yet? I don't know if I did yet. Okay. Subscribe, please. Okay, uh, see ya. Peace. What?